Hey everyone! If you're struggling to consistently post on social media, this video today is just for you because I'm showing you my uh, social media posting uh, setup automation uh, that I've made with make.com that creates <clears throat> Uh, automatic posts to Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn and it uses uh, RSS feed uh, to automatically uh, get one post per day or one article per day then run it through Perplexity AI to summarize and find the key facts and then, to, uh, then ChatGPT modules are creating the text for LinkedIn and Facebook and also for Twitter and then I'm using Buffer to schedule them and the last step of the automation is uh, getting a slack notification um, and then I can go and review the uh, finished post and if I don't uh, want to change anything it's already scheduled in buffer and going out um, but if I want to change something I can just click on this link and uh, go make manual edits uh, to the post before it gets published so this setup will take you, I think, like 10-15 minutes to set up and it will run daily for the rest of the times if you want to. So let me show you exactly how I'm doing this. So first, um, uh, as I said, I'm using a tool called InnoReader. But actually, let's go and start building a new scenario and this way uh, it's easier to kind of show you how to go about it step by step. So let's uh, um, open up a new scenario in make.com and uh, for the trigger um, I'm going to use this tool called InnoReader. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly and watch articles. And for this to work you have to uh, create an account at InnoReader.com I-N-O uh, Reader. Um, here you can have a free account and um, you can just add a new feed here and I was just uh, uh, picking like this bigger topic of marketing and here you can um, let's uh, maybe pick public relations and there's this option to follow the whole collection so now uh, I'm following the whole collection of uh, feeds here um, for public relation and this is a really cool feature because that way I can uh, have uh, several uh, I mean like that way I won't repeat the same uh, uh, blog or a newspaper every week but there's uh, a variety to the so new sources that I'm using okay so once I have this set up the account in Nina reader and also I'm following uh, some feeds then I'll go back to make.com and here uh, I'm gonna pick the folder and this way I can get this uh, collection of feeds and this public relations uh, one uh, that I just uh, chose. I can put it here and then uh, the limit I'm going to uh, tell it to only get uh, one article. And let's change the scheduling right away as well. Otherwise we might forget about it. So every day I want uh, this scenario to run at a specific time. So now it's set up uh, correctly as well. Every day then it runs, it gets one article and then it triggers the automation uh, uh, from that. So the next step is uh, Perplexity AI, uh, create the chat completion. And here we're going to create a user message. And I have a prompt um, which says let me put it here. Create a summary of this article and add a bulleted list of key takeaways and, add, and actionable advice to the end. And here we're going to take um, the link to the article. Mm, I think it's this one. No, let me see. I think it's the canonical href. Yeah, let's see. If it's not, we can uh, fix it later. But this is a good option for us to test uh, this uh, automation. Let's uh, choose where to start. Uh, choose manually. 
And now it's uh, uh, catching all of these articles from Aina Reader. Okay, how to generate leads for small and medium sized businesses. Let's take this one and run the automation. And for Perplexity AI, you have to have a, um, API access to it, then you have to upload some credits, but you can only upload like $5 and it should be enough for a while. And then connect it with uh, make.com. Okay, and let's see the output. Okay, and it seems it got uh, let's see this output, canonical URL, yeah, this is the URL that we used and it seems to be the correct one. Okay, and let's continue then. Uh, so the next step is um, a router, a router, English is not my first language. <laughs> um, and then let's do ChatGPT, uh, create the completion the chat completion let's pick the latest model and uh, max token zero and temperature 0 0.7 and then let's create the user message and again i have a prompt uh, that i'm going to copy paste And you can get this prompt uh, from my private community, AIMarketingMasters.com. Yeah, and you can also get the make.com automation. Uh, you can download it and upload it to your account and it will make everything uh, really quick uh, in terms of the setup. Okay, so um, this prompt uh, basically says that um, uh, we want uh, LinkedIn Facebook post uh, with 2,000 2, characters and there are um, specific guidelines for the structure, for the style of writing and stuff like that. So, and also it, it, uh, we're also telling um, uh, ChatGPT that it should uh, use the uh, summary and key takeaways uh, from Perplexity AI. Uh, so let's take this and we also want to link to the original article. So let's take this link here as well. Uh, canonical interest. I think this was the one that we used, right? Uh, and then let's save it. Now this is for um, uh, the LinkedIn, um, uh, LinkedIn and Facebook post. And the next uh, step is going to be buffer. Uh, create the status update. So, and here we're going to check only Facebook and LinkedIn because this is going to be a longer text. And the text is going to come from the last uh, chat GPT module. And this is an important part, like the when to publish it. I would suggest you um, uh, Create, this, uh, create a new post uh, and put it at the end of the queue. Then you will have some time to go back and, and ch make changes if you need to. Um, I wouldn't uh, schedule anything for publishing right away and without me uh, overseeing what the post actually looks like. Because this is all automatic, you don't want to publish uh, some random uh, um, post that you, you don't really approve of. So that's why I'm using this. Um, uh, set up here and the last step just because I don't want to go into buffer I don't I won't remember to go into buffer uh, or I won't remember to check this make.com automation every day I want to add an alert to slack because I'm using slack a lot uh, if you're not using slack you can pick some other tool that you're checking daily you can also send an email to yourself that has the a scheduled post uh, in it so you can kind of just have some eyes on it and, and uh, see if you want to make changes but for me um, slack uh, makes the most sense and create the message and 
and let's pick my uh, yeah public channel, the random channel, and now the text. Uh, here's what I want to do. I want to uh, first say, uh, add the buff buffer queue link here as well. Um, so let's say something like um, this post was just scheduled for publishing in buffer and then I'm going to get the buffer queue link uh, here from just from the browser tab and then let's separate this part a bit and here I'm going to add the actual post from the chat GPT module and let's save it and let's uh, build out uh, the uh, Twitter or X uh, thing as well. So actually, I think we can uh, clone most of this, we'll copy. Um, okay, and we can delete this. So here, uh, what we are going to change is the uh, prompt. So the prompt is going to be a bit different because uh, tweets have to be shorter and they have a different um, uh, style to them as well. Um, but here let's still have the same uh, the summary from uh, Perplexity AI. And then uh, the link to the article as well, which was the canonical. Okay, and the other settings, yeah, are copied from the uh, LinkedIn Facebook module. Okay, now the buffer module we have to change a bit as well. Let's disable these and only add X. Uh, the text uh, here. Yes, and add an update to the end of the queue. And here, just in case, I, I'm not sure, I think I have to change this because the modules are different. Okay, and now it should uh, all be running smoothly. <laughs> Let's see if that's the case. Let's um, choose where to start again. Let's pick a different uh, article. Um, maybe uh, Google changed plans to kill uh, tracking cookies. Let's see if this one works. And it's now running through the first um, route route. <laughs> and now the um, automation has uh, ended. And let's see what happened. So I should have uh, the post here and indeed I do have them here so this is the cookie post this post was just a sketch of a bu publishing a buffer and I can here go to buffer uh, don't count on third party cookies disappearing soon Google has blah 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 and there's the link to the article and then um, the tweet don't ignore Google's new plan on cookies Google delays phasing out cookies uh, and the link here as well and these are pretty okay articles, I would, um, pretty okay social media posts, I would say. I don't necessarily want to change them, but if I wanted to change them, I'm just going to click here. I'm taken to uh, Buffer and uh, here I can just edit. Uh, this is actually uh, an older post that I uh, uh, added here before. So this is the one that was just um, scheduled. So if I want to edit it, I can add uh, some images. Uh, I can just uh, add my own thoughts, uh, delete some uh, information, uh, some content or whatever I want to do. Um, so here uh, I can uh, browse uh, through my whole three channels, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook and X. And uh, but the beauty of this uh, automation is that I don't have to do any of this if I don't want to. If I trust that the automation is uh, creating valuable posts, uh, I might ignore the Slack messages overall. 
uh, it's just going to work. And uh, why I'm using Buffer is because Buffer is uh, really affordable. Um, I'm going to show what I mean. So uh, I'm using the free plan here. Uh, so, which means like I can add uh, three channels for free and for each channel I can have 10 posts in the schedule at once and the schedule you can uh, change here you go to settings you uh, go to posting schedule and here you can pick like on which days do you want the posts to go out um, I can just like add dates and times I can do uh, I can um, uh, post several times per day maybe only every other day whatever works for me buffers pricing is really affordable so as you can see you can have uh, three channels and uh, you can uh, have up to 10 posts per schedule and if you need to upgrade uh, it's only one, uh, five dollars per month for one channel so it's really affordable and I really like that I can um, go in here and make some changes if I need to and uh, but if I don't want to but if I don't need to make any changes it's still happening on autopilot um, make.com you can use the free version uh, for this as well uh, the only uh, thing you have to pay for is some credit for perplexity AI and also some credit for uh, uh, chat GPT to use the APIs of these tools but otherwise this is a really simple uh, um, way to automate your social media posting um, so if you want to be um, lazy but efficient give it a go and again if you want to uh, copy all of this um, and not do it uh, step by step and also to copy my prompts go to aimarketingmasters.com and uh, let me know what other automations you want to see until next time then bye